fashion outfit. Okay. But I tell you, you be calling a lot of guys if you go out dressed like that. So it really was that good. Yes. Oh, I was like, you yes. look really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How do I look? Lovely. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. I look really nice. Oh. <laughs> Let me just give you one warning. Hmm? During the party, just ensure that you don't go near any guy. Because <laughs> you're going to make them go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your ladies are loud. Huh? Just listen to yourselves. Who oh, dare? You mean you're not going to check out that sexy dress you just bought for the party? I've got more important things to think about. My project first. Take it easy, girls. I'm going to wear your back. I'm going to wear There. All this is serious, my student. You mean it? You mean a book war? Because that is exactly what she is. Never takes her mind off studies. No fun, nothing. Can I talk to you for a minute? Are you a prophet? No, my name is Mike. Children, my friends call me lover boy. And I got a message of love for you. You can save it. Wow. Have you been told how beautiful you look? Many times. Well, you are the most prettiest girl I have ever seen on this campus. And I must confess, I like you a lot. I like you too. You like me? You like me? Don't really? you mean it? I'm sure I do. Can I get a date? No. Why? Zed! Damn. What did you do? Oh, excuse me, please. Stop embarrassing me. I don't like the way you go about me like a hungry chicken. Oh, baby, please don't go for me. Please don't go for me like that. Baby, I was calling you the other time and you refused to answer. I can't wait. I'm sorry I embarrassed you. Uh, let me help you carry your books. Oh, thanks. Uh, come on. Uh, all right, let me just keep you company. At least that's my hood. I don't need your company, okay? Uh, come on, Dara. Give me a break. Uh, uh, baby, can we get together sometime? I'll catch ya. Gotcha. <laughs> Who is this? Guess who, lover? Mm. Don't you? I know your voice. Oh, shit. Why am I so damn predictable, huh? What's happening? I feel good at this. So, what's my angel doing here all alone? Looking so damn pretty. Dotson, mm -hmm. stop flattering me. I've told you I'm not an angel. But you are, even if you don't see it. Look, every time I look at you, I feel the heavens is open and the angels are singing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Le, le. You know how it is? <laughs> look, I believe in the mysteries and the power of your love, for real. Anytime is free. So why haven't you said yes to my proposal? No. No, I've had too many no's. Try a yes for one. Hmm? My work. Look, I've got everything it takes for the, anybody in this campus to, 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 to kill themselves for. Listen, Doctor. We're better off as friends, but not lovers. Look, I have enough friends. What I need in my life is love and excess of it, too. I'm five feet ten of hot pure chocolate. Just walking around, everybody wants a bite of me. I'm offering you all this things for Listen, free and you don't want it. I have too many friends in my life. What I need is love. Excess of it. And you have love already. Dara! Here goes Bill Fish. What are you doing here with him? Please, let's go. Hi, Demon. What's happening? Uh, uh, I see you're still mixing those strange colors. Okay, bye, sweetheart. <laughs> Why are you being so hard like on him? Who doesn't know this guy in this campus? 
He's a Casanova. Excuse well, me. Well, he was just trying to be himself. Little baby. What's an angel like you do with that demon anyway? Shit. Bad customers everywhere, man. Going to another hunting ground. Damn. No, sir. Mm. You see your guy where you... You should say you go drop it. You go drop it. Call him now. Who do you have on the course? It's definitely sure they suspect somebody won't call us. Hello, lady. Hi. Hey. 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 I can't wait to graduate from this school. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. now only you, you. Uh -huh. I just well. wish I could fasten the hand of time to reach that day. I can't wait. Wait, I can't wait. ladies, we have just two days. Two You won't believe this. Mm -hmm. If I tell you what I went through today, you won't believe it. Mm -hmm. Like somebody that went through mm -hmm. you know, Just wait, let me tell you my story. <laughs> when I left the hostel, mm -hmm. to the accounting department, mm -hmm. under 10 minutes, mm -hmm. oh my god, just smile. <laughs> More than five guys approached me. Under 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And they were all telling me. Wait, 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 I hope we are not including that as a guy. Wait, which one? Which one? What is his name? Dr. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at the gist now. Ten minutes, five guys, world record. Yes. No, give us thirty-five functions. What is that? What is that? What is that? and said, okay, let me go pay him some surprise visit. It's good to see you, man. How are so, you? I'm fine. I'm doing yeah. well. How's, how are the lectures going? I'm mean, fine, bro. You know how it is now. I'm mm. trying to graduate and all that. Yeah, it's, it's, fine. Fine. it's all good. Don't think of it. Hey, hey, David. Um, I just saw one very beautiful looking girl like that. I just walked past. I think she was using blue. She's in like a blue, you know, sleeveless top or something. She, I think she walked right into a shop there. I never knew you like women like this. Okay, now tell me what's up. Did she tell you on him? No, I, I know. <laughs> I didn't have the effort to talk to her, but okay. I didn't talk to her, so okay. I don't know. Okay, you know something? Yeah. Why don't you like stroll down to the cafeteria? Maybe you might get to see her again. So. Yeah, no, no, no. There she is. There she is, as a matter of fact. She's already here. Here she comes. Okay. You know her? Mm, that's Dara. Dara. Hi. Hi. Hello. That's me. Dara, what's hey. up? How you doing? Hi. I'm not looking bad today, I'm alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, as a project. So, I just want to submit it. One hell of a thing. Okay. Hello. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Greg. I'm Dara. Okay, sorry, let me do the introduction myself. Ah, Greg, yeah, my cousin, you understand? Your cousin? He's my cousin, yeah, yeah, just come to see him in school. And then, <laughs> here comes Dara. The That's goddess sweet. of this campus. Come oh, on, you guys should just talk all these <laughs> raps, man. So, Greg, 
It was nice meeting you, girl. Thanks, <clears throat> You excuse us for a moment. Taking care of yourself. All right then. Um, um, don't don't go far now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am not used to this actually, but I saw you walking past and I was actually captivated by your looks. I like your top. It's really beautiful. Thanks. Good. I was wondering if um, possibly we can get to see you again. Yeah, yeah. The convocation party. Oh, you're invited. I'll give David an uh, invitation later. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be there, most definitely. Because if I don't go, I'm sure he'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be there. Uh, then I'm inside, we'll get to see you again. Once an angel girl is always an angel. Especially, I don't want to go there. So, uh, look, sweetheart, how's life been? Hmm? It's been fun, graduating, yeah. working in the office. Yeah. Time. Is the only thing. Well, um, mega business has been tremendous for me too. It's hard working, but it's okay. So, look, sweetheart, why don't you want to go out with me? Hmm? Look, I have everything a man needs to make a woman happy. Feeling you feel good? <laughs> a little woozy? Well, it's okay, baby, to pass. Now, as I was saying, look, when you go up with me, I'll give you everything you want. I have everything. I'm young, I'm fabulous, I'm rich, I'm well traveled, more school, good looking. What else do you want? Well. You know, this is one night you're never going to forget. I'm going to just screw the hell out of your brains. Yes, let's, let's get this body started. She will be no man.
morning, Angel. Did you sleep well? It's bright outside. It's a beautiful day. Birds are singing. But you bastard! What the hell did you do to me last night? What I did to you, I made sweet, passionate love to you. And I know you enjoyed every minute of it because I know I'm well packaged. <laughs> Oh, no, it's me. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You can't undo what's been done. How could you do that? How could you do this to me? Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, baby, but I had the most accelerating time of my life. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm a tonic too. I, I hate you. I, I hate you. Oh, that hurts you. You wretch. Oh, 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 one minute, baby. Um, um I was wondering, what, would you like to make some breakfast? I've got some real fresh eggs down there, enjoyed in the kitchen. I, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Shit, damn, the girl's a wild one. There you are, baby. <laughs> Woo. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, Doctor, um, 
The lady that just left your office. What did she come here for? I beg your pardon. You heard me, doctor. Who are you? Well, who I am is inconsequential. What is important is that I ask you a question. Now, what did she come here for, doctor? Please, I'm not a very patient man. Young no, man. It is against the ethics of my profession. And if you really want to know what she came here for, go back get her, and I'll tell you in the process. Perfectly. Mm -hmm. You excuse me now, won't you? Except, uh, doctor. See, I'm bound by my own ethics too. When I ask a man a question, he answers me. Uh, uh, what did she come here for? She, uh, she, what? You have a speech problem. Oh, okay. She, she came for this as well. See? This world would be such a nice place if you wouldn't have to resort to violence. Now, what kind of place did she come from? It's confidential, please. It's confidential. It's confidential. Like, okay? You'd be most helpful anyway. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have to run along now. <laughs> Except I'm uh, not yet satisfied. <laughs> Dearest Dara, it pleases me so much to write you after such a long time. I'm sorry I haven't kept in touch with you for so long. This is due to some troubles I find here in the United States. I hope you do forgive me. I love you very much, Dara, and I long to see your face and be with you. When I come back in two months, I will give you a call this weekend. Sorry for everything. Your love, Greg. What are you doing in here? Get out of my house! Uh -huh. Out! Honey, there's no way to treat your most loved one. Hey, I haven't seen you for one month and you look especially cute today. 
What's making you upset? I wonder. <laughs> I smell blood. distance is that it you've been spending all that good quality loving from a distance I don't know why you women are so complicated anyway here I am spoiling for you and you're tripping for a man that don't even exist listen daughter I would rather sleep in his kitchen than sleep in your arms because he's hundred percent human but I'm nothing but an animal well um somehow basically I agree I mean, when you look at it biologically we're still all animals that's a fact. Besides, in this instance, I happen to be the man because I'm the one that pregnant you. You're pregnant for. That's right. See, I smell blood. See, you thought you could keep it away from me. I have my way around these things. Look at you. You're looking pathetic. Anyway, the point is that I know him. He's Greg. I've done business with him in New York. He's an okay guy. He's alright. But she's not blessed with the killer instincts that Dodger is blessed with. That's right. He's not that kind of person. <laughs> and I was sing oh! the canary. <laughs> Don't I beg of you, you For the sake of our friendship. Um, she thinks I'm afraid now. Listen, should I save the tears? The tears don't move me. I mean, it's for lesser mortals out there that are swayed by a woman's emotional tenderness. No. You know what tears does to me? When I see you breaking down and tearing apart like that, you know what it does? It gives me a rush. As a matter of fact, it turns me off! <laughs> Play that, man. I know, you man, let me bury some of this.
you feeling now? Fine, doctor. Good morning. Good morning. You are such a lucky lady. No. Thank you, doctor. No. Doctor, how about my baby? He's all right. He's all right. Miss <sighs> Seboche. In the course of the accident, you had a miscarriage and you lost the baby. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Please just relax. Did Did any member of my family come to check on me? Yes. A family member came yesterday, a kid brother and sister. She just left to freshen up and I, I think they'll be back. This actually slept here. Did you tell them I was pregnant or, or, or had miscarriage? No, I didn't. Oh. They don't know. Doctor, hmm? please do me a favor. What is it? Don't, don't tell anyone I was pregnant and had miscarriage. Please, I beg of you. Please. Promise me you won't. I promise. I understand. It's all right. Just relax, okay? When will I be discharged? Say, in three days' time, you'll be fit to go home. And you know what? I suggest you get some rest, okay? Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Not too much. Everything will be okay. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. How is your health today? I'm better. Is there anything I can do for you? I just came to table my resignation letter. I beg your pardon? Why? What? Is there anything wrong? No, sir. Uh, I just intend not to work here anymore. And... Uh, no, no. You, you can't do that to us. You can't say that. The director instructed me to specifically retain and promote you after your service with us, and, and which I did. And he's been expected in less than two weeks. Why this sudden resignation? I know, sir, but I have to resign. And I do, do hope you understand. Excuse me. Barbara. Sir. I just want you to realize that the management appreciates your services. And your office is still there for you, okay? Excuse me. Good luck. Sir, how was just the way she resigned after the accident? I tried to find out what her problems are, but she, she said there's no problem. That she simply doesn't want to continue working with us. And ever since I've not set my eyes on her, neither have I heard from her. And so she left. Mr. Matthew O'Connor. Sir. It is true that I left my company in your care. Likewise, my fiance. So, what you are telling me now is that my fiance left this company without you getting any address or forwarding contact or any clue as to locating her whereabouts. Is that what you are telling me, Mr. Okonedo? I'm sorry I failed in that respect, but I tried to show much concern, but she never obliged. I'm sorry, sir. All right. I believe she's going through some kind of problems. However, I will find her. In the meantime, how's the company? Oh, we are doing great, sir. Everything is fine. Excellent. All right, then. Send me the files updates to my office, okay? I'll do that, sir. Why not, sir? Oh, 
Miss, how are you? I'm very surprised to see you. Oh, I am. Um, I came in yesterday. Oh. Um, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Why did it take you so long? No letters, no phone calls, nothing. Well, um, I had run into some problems here and there. Kind of personal, though. Okay. It's not what I can start talking about now. It'll probably take me the whole day. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, yeah, welcome back. So, um, have you seen Dara? Hmm. Nah. I cannot really understand this hard disappearing act. Craig, I haven't seen her for a while now. Hmm. Are you aware she resigned from my company? She resigned? Yeah. No. I'm not aware of that. Oh my god. It's like two months now, I haven't seen her, and we've been living in this house for what was our mind. I can't really explain what happened. I cannot. I cannot. I wish. Oh god, I'm so worried. I am really worried. Uh, all right. It's okay. It's alright. I mean, uh -huh. that's really I. I'll search for her. I'll look for her, and um, I will find her. Okay. The reason for her disappearance. So. I I'll look for her, okay? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much for time. I'll come around and check on you, yeah. okay? All right? Have a nice day. Baba. See, I, I do believe something must have made her decide to be isolated. Or what do you think? David, tell me. What could lead one into such isolation? Because I, 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 I don't seem to understand. Even her best friend, Rose, mm -hmm. doesn't know where she is right now. Now, she's no longer in the company's residential quarters that I assigned to her personally. You don't say it. She's not there. I tried calling her from New York. I sent some gifts. After I sent some gifts and letters to her. Mm. But then the phone kept ringing. And she wouldn't pick it. You see, I called again. And then it told me it was out of service. I, 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 I can't seem to understand. I don't, I don't know what's going on, man, but... Did you check her in her house? As in, did you go to her family house as in investigating properly where she is? No, no. I've, I've not done that yet. For a solution. She called ever since then? Yes. She called some few days back. But she only discussed with her junior sister. Let me call her and let's hear what they discussed together. Biola! Yes, mommy. Please, tell us what you discussed with your sister few days ago when she called. She called three days ago. She said that we shouldn't worry about her, that she's alright. 
Well, go and attend to those customers, my baby. Thank you. Mama. Mama, what about her father? Isn't he saying anything about If you ask him, he will tell you that Dara is old enough to take care of herself. You know what, Greg? This thing really worries me. You see, uh, something tells me I believe she's still in Lagos. I mean, that's what I feel. Mama, Dara means so much to me. She means the world to me. I love her, Mama. I love her very much. I want to search for her. And even if it takes my last resource to find her, I will find her. But first, I need your approval, Mama. My son, you have all the approval that you want from me. But tell me, how do you intend to look for her? Well, I intend to go to all the media houses and declare her wanted. Wanted? For what? Wanted for love, Mama. Because I love her very much. But, Greg, do you think it's such a nice idea? Mama, anything right now to bring Dara back? Anything. Mm. Did you just see that? <laughs> Me, don't mind all these actors. I eh? don't mind all these actors. Eh? They all come off like. Sister Dara, we will see you with a Bible. Uh -huh. uh, Sister Dara, that even reminds me. Daddy said I should inform you that uh, that is business associate. Has been helping you to get a job. Mm -hmm. Said he should bring you to his office next week, Monday, on Friday. Wait, you mean I stand a chance of getting the job? Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Oh. So, uh, uh, I mean, if you allow me to watch TV now, eh? and let me enjoy this film, please. Please hold your pizza. Please, uh, what's the problem with your in your pocket? That would be nice. Okay. Well, I'll join you guys later. Right. There's a kind of mystery surrounding this sister Dara. Oh. We don't know her parents. And she refuses to open up. I mean, um, I think I'm okay with her. The important thing now is that she's serious with her life. At least she has her life in her hands. And I think I like her that way. It's not like this Agnes that is a Confucianist. Seeking for trouble everywhere, and I hope you have even watched that place that I told you to watch. Why? I'm watching why would you now? watch? What? What? What film? For heaven's sake, why? I've told you if you don't watch it, I'm going to report it to um, to daddy. I'm very very serious about it. I'm not joking about it. Told you. All right, okay, okay. Agnes. Bros. This two will not get anywhere. I think you know that. Um, brother, what did I say now? That. Oh, she talk bad. I mean, I talk bad at her sister when you know when she's talking to you. Uh, no, that no, that didn't arise me. No, I, no, I will join later. Let me just pick something. Born again. Mm, you don't leave me alone. I have my life to live. Besides, at that day I will be the first to go to heaven, self. I'm like.
so never work. Hey, see money, oh. All over the streets. I know some outsider will be going and go and collect the address. I, I, I'm, I'm trade man. I mean, now I have to be your friend, your sister, so it would be better for me to go there, you know, to take you to the man. So the man will. And you know, please don't even think about it. He's the other people to go and collect the money. Let me go and collect this money, sir. Leave you to be useful. What is. Don't even dare it. Don't think about it. The money will be used for me and you now. Don't. Yes, how may I help you? Sorry, sir. Are you Mr. Greg Ashimoto? I am. I know where there are stairs. I can take you there. Are you sure of this? I just left her a few minutes ago in my house. She stayed in my house. I can take I can take you there if you want me to. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. So there are we we're going to be this bag. Um, I just got an urgent message that I should come. So I have to leave now. Why? Why should you go? Just give Daddy this. Don't you need to come back? When Daddy comes. What is happening here? I don't know. I just want her packing up her bag. Sister Dara, where do you think you're going with, uh, with, uh, with all this bag? I just got an urgent message and I have to leave now. It's very important. And uh, I would like to thank you guys for your kind gesture, for your hospitality. Mary, I'm grateful. Wait a bit, sister Noah. Don't you think it would be better for you to wait for them to come back? No, no. Where is Dara? She just left now. Yeah, that story. Bros, fill out, I'm coming. Excuse me. Agnes, hey, 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 Agnes. I told you Dara just left now. Bros, I'm coming eh? Auntie Dara! Auntie Dara! Oh, Agnes. Uh, uh, gentlemen, please, uh, who do you want to see? Well, I'm here to look for Dara. Actually, I mean her no harm, okay? I, I just want to talk to her. Um, it's quite a pity that I just left some few minutes ago. Oh, God. She's gone. Hey. I really don't know. Why are you allowed to go now? I told you she was not here, that she had okay. left. <laughs> See, half a million dollars changed our lives. Eh? At least my own life. Oh. See, now. I, I don't have it now. See what? 
And I don't tell him for this house. Nice. How? Bros. Eh? We frustrate her life? Let's go. Just leave this to my brother and my sister. Maybe we will find out on our way, please. Just pour my wife for me. Attack from now. Agnes! Agnes, come back here! Come on, what is happening in this house? Listen, 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 listen to me. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about what happened, okay? It's not what you think at all. It's not what you think. For goodness sakes, I, I ran into some trouble in the United States, all right? I, 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 the guys I went to meet for business, they were fraudsters, and I didn't know it. The law caught up with us, and then they, they implicated me. They said I was part of them. I lost all communications, I lost all contacts. For several months, I was in detention. I couldn't get out. Finally, my mother was able to get me out. After fighting so hard, they finally discovered the truth and then they set me free. That's what happened, honey. I didn't deliberately, I didn't deliberately leave you. No, I didn't. Okay? It's not what you think. I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed you. Now that, um, now that we're here, God, I'm going to accomplish what I've always dreamed of. Oh, 
for you from the very start And I know my love will stand the test of time Cause girl, you're always on my mind For you will climb the highest mountain, swim the deepest sea I will do anything, oh just Baby, you look particularly hot tonight. Jesus. Now, just um, in case you've developed um, temporary amnesia, I just wanted to remind you of the pregnancy, the miscarriage. Not to talk of the night I gave you that tender love in a man, please. Get your hands. <laughs> okay, let's do business. I want you to meet me at Seaside, 8 a.m. sharp. Make it. You know I can't live without your darling. Then I will tell you what I want. What I want. One more thing. If you don't come, I'm going to sing like a kid in the and think great will never give you the kind of rush that I give. Huh? Oh, <clears throat> oh, Greg. I was just um, <clears throat> telling you, lovely wife. I was. Doing 